so I missed yesterday. Um, I was going to do my laminated list, but I talked to a friend of mine, and he liked the idea of discussing his laminated list, too. And he went, he saw my video with um, Andre, and he wanted to be in one of my vlogs. So I told him I'll postpone it, and we could do it together sometime later this week or next week. Um, but yeah, after that, and we actually started discussing our laminated list right then. So I and then it got late and I had to write a paper and yeah I didn't really have time to film a video by that by that point. So this is that video. Um, I'm not gonna discuss my lemonade list. I'm gonna wait for him, but I'm gonna talk about something else. I want to talk about something that happened to me today that happens uh, periodically. Um, when I was in ninth grade, um, I got really sick. And it was the first time I had ever gotten so ill that I had to go see a doctor. And I was actually hospitalized. And it turned out that my pancreas just had it. It didn't feel like working anymore. <laughs> and my body wasn't producing insulin. So I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes um, when I was 13. Yeah, I think I was 13. It's been eight years now or so yeah so yeah, I've been living with this and um, I take insulin shots every day and what happened today was occasionally my blood sugars if I don't if basically if you don't eat enough um, and your body has too much insulin in it and you don't have to you don't have any food your blood sugars will go down I mean, so yeah that happened to me when I was getting out of class today, class went a little bit later. Well, our professor has been coming in late. Um, he's been starting class at 3.30 instead of the usual 3. And the class went to 6.15. Now, I got to work at 2. And I had a slice of pizza. And that's all I ate. And, and that's usually enough for me to get through class and then eat when I get out of class again. Or sometimes if, sometimes I'll munch on something. Um, whatever, if I have like some chips or something. Today I didn't do that. Because probably, uh, telling you that because I was late for class, I was finishing writing that essay that I mentioned earlier, and I, uh, I was in the library before class, so I didn't even think about eating anything again, and when I got to class, I was already like, I got to class about four, I was at about half an hour late, and when break time came around, and he only gave us like a five minute break today, um, I didn't even think to get up and go get something to eat. Because usually, I mean, usually, most people don't have to eat when they're not hungry. Or when it isn't meal time, or, you know, it isn't, yeah, I guess that's it. When they're not hungry, or it isn't, or it isn't meal time. But um, for people who have, who are type 1 diabetics, um, in order to keep your levels uh, in control, you have to, sometimes you have to periodically eat um, throughout the day. But yeah, I didn't do that, and so when I got a class, and the symptoms, you can feel it instantly, not instantly, but you, you start to feel when, you start to feel when it first start dropping, um, at least for me, there's, there are many symptoms, some of them I don't get, but some of them I do, the one, the symptom I get most commonly is, I usually will feel hungry, and I will also get shaky, like, I can look at my hand and literally see it shaking, and I can't keep it still. Um, and sometimes I'll get, um, I don't really get sweaty. I can get kind of uncomfortable. And I also get really irritable, which, I mean, which is understandable. Most people get irritable if you're, when you feel like crap. But sometimes I tell people is that it feels like you're, like, if you're sitting and it feels like suddenly you just get done running a few laps around I don't know, the block or whatever, and it, it comes out of nowhere, and you're tired, and you, you know, you know that feeling like right after a race, or you do, you work out, and you really want something to drink, or you really want something to eat, it's that feeling, and it comes on like suddenly, plus you're shaking, and you might be sweating, and today I actually got a headache, and that was something I, and I still have the headache, I feel fine now besides the headache, but it's, it's still there, which is something new for me. There's an opposite of when your blood sugar is too high, when you don't have enough insulin in your body to, or the insulin is working to bring bring your 
uh, glu glucose levels to regular levels. Um, it's called hyperglycemia, so hypo and hyper. So because my pancreas doesn't uh, produce insulin, I give myself injections every day um, with this, which is what I've been playing with this whole video. This is my insulin pen. Um, it has, this one's almost empty actually, but that's the insulin in the top. It's like a cloudy liquid. Um, and basically what I do is I dial up how much, right now, how much I need to take. And yeah, then you push it. And they have pens. Oh, they are. They have these. These are the needles that you attach on top. And so I take 45 milligrams in the morning and 35 in the evening. I take them right before I eat and do it every day. It's considered an autoimmune disease. Um, basically, my sometime during my adolescence. Um, my body decided that um, the cells that produce insulin in my body were foreign or they weren't, they shouldn't have been there, and basically my body shut them down. They decided, you sh you are, I don't know who you are anymore, so <laughs> my body broke up with those cells, and yeah, so now I'm having to substitute <laughs> those cells with this, so yeah. That's kind of, that's what happens to me today. And usually after, after an episode like that, I usually feel like crap, but I don't feel like doing anything else for the rest of the day, which I haven't really done anything else. Oh, maybe I have to talk about the difference between type 1 and type 2. The type 1 diabetes is pretty rare. Um, it supposedly only affects about 5 to, five to well, yeah, like 5 to 10%, I think it was, of all our diabetes patients. Most people know about type 2 diabetes, which is what, uh, older people sometimes get, or people who whose bodies become insulin uh, resistant, and that's usually due to lifestyle, um, weight, and stuff like that. Um, type one diabetes is it, it's not an autoimmune disease. Type one diabetes could, I mean, it technically is a completely different um, disease or condition. Uh, with type two diabetes, though, uh, the pancreas still produces insulin, unlike mine, which doesn't. Um, their bodies just become resistant to the insulin. So they, the food they eat, um, the, the insulin they produce isn't isn't converting it into energy efficiently. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, we'll make another one and talk, and talk about the actual vlog topic for today.